good morning guys so i've just woken up it's actually 9 a.m basically i've really tried waking up early today yeah so i have a few things i'm supposed to do so this is basically a vlog if you've not subscribed please do subscribe be part of the family give this video a like and all those nice things that you're supposed to do so thank you so much guys for the support so far so um this is basically a vlog i have so much things to do today i have um like three pro projects i'm supposed to do so i'm not so sure how i'll manage the three all by myself i think i'll just um have to look for someone to help me with one and then um i have a delivery from youtube guys actually have a delivery from youtube i got um an email they were delivering it today so yeah and actually the delivery guy has called me he's on the way so he's actually delivering to where i stay yeah i'm so excited for that yeah, so actually the delivery was supposed to come in yesterday it was supposed to come in between yesterday and today so today um um the person has actually called me that he's delivering so the thing is I actually wrote um a wrong address it was just a few like i confused something so um I, I got the wrong address and they had to call me and a request for a new address so i gave them so it's being delivered i'm so excited so the thing is guys so today is actually on friday and um from next week on Monday, we're going to be having the YouTube master classes. So this is something I usually update you guys on. Mostly on my Instagram, I usually talk about it. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, please do. Because on my Instagram, I do um, talk much about it. So it's basically just um, a few classes, virtual classes actually. So they, teach, they actually teach so much about uh, YouTube basically anything youtube what to do to grow your brand the mistakes you should avoid doing what you should do to grow your channel basically they usually cover so so much and i always share with you guys on my instagram most of uh you guys because most of my followers are also youtubers so i just want um us all to grow together so I usually share that so if you don't follow me please go and follow me and like all my pictures there as well yeah so basically that's what i'm going to do um immediately the guy arrives i'll go pick it um so right now i just want to quickly prepare breakfast um shower and then um start doing my work immediately because <sighs> i have deadlines to hit yeah so that's it that's basically what i'm doing also guys my hair is really bad i was thinking i was actually thinking of getting rid of these artificial dreadlocks like i feel i'm tired you know this is actually the fifth month with this hair like with dreadlocks basically i've stayed with them for five months and i feel like i'm already tired like yeah i don't know about you guys but but for me to actually stay with the same hairstyle for months wow i don't know <laughs> let's just say i'm saving for a project or something that's why i'm saving money for that but um i just don't like staying with the same same hairstyle for months or even two months like i just can't and um some people usually also redo the same style if they um if they actually put not less braids this month they can still redo the same braids next month for me i can't i like change so i'm even surprised that i've stayed with this for five months but the good thing with artificial dreadlocks is the fact that I don't have to comb my hair every morning. All I have to do is just spray um, and, you know, just make it look neat. And also the thing with it is the fact that whenever I go for retouch and washing, I don't stay so much in the salon. I just stay for like less than an hour, less than, let's just say less than two hours a month. But imagine going to do braids, you have to stay for hours. So that's the thing. I also don't like sitting down for long i'm just an impatient person basically yeah so i was thinking of removing this because um i feel like i'm tired but then again i'm like five months is still not the target i had because i was planning to stay with them for like eight for like eight months before uh getting rid of them and i feel like it's still so nice it's serving me well so i don't know what should i do i don't know i felt like i just feel like i'm tired but then the cost of actually going to remove it and then going to also do my hair will be costly. It will cost me a lot of money. So I'm not sure what I should do. 
I think I'll just think about it. If I decide to stay with them, I'll update you guys. But uh, um, at this point, I just feel tired. Yeah, so let me not talk too much. Let me just go directly and um, prepare breakfast. And also shower quickly. And then I'll see you guys later. Yeah, so guys, I'm done showering. Yeah, so um, this is how my morning begins, actually. So basically, um, I've decided not to make breakfast because of time. And also because I just feel so lazy. And because I have deadlines I need to hit. So I've decided to just take some apple juice and this. And some mandazis which I made yesterday. So that's what I'm having for breakfast. Yeah. Also guys, I need to inform you guys something about this chair. You know, it has... Let me just show you guys. Let me just show you what the issue is. Yeah, so, so guys, um, if you can see here how um, this place is actually going like real down, like it actually broke. You know what happened? I just sat on it and I just felt like something just went down. So I feel like this chair is not of good quality. Whoever sold this to me was actually the worst fundi. Let me not even lie. He was very slow. He kept lying to me um that it's ready well it's not so the fundi kept on lying to me that the the you know we had agreed that the, the chair will be ready in like two to three weeks actually he told me one week but in my mind i knew one week is impossible so i just knew you know we know how fundies are so i just knew it will be ready in the next like two weeks or three weeks let me tell you guys this particular fundi kept me waiting for more than a month he kept on lying. He kept on lying. And the mistake I had done, I had paid um full amount. So I shouldn't have done that. I had paid him full amount. And then the other thing, he didn't actually make the exact design I wanted. So I feel like I don't, I really don't like it. And then also, um, I'm tired of this navy blue color. It's a really nice color, but I think I'm going to change it. And also, the material in itself is not of good quality. Like... If you actually take a close look at here, like it's already worn out. It's just not a good, it's not a good quality, guys. So I feel like the next time I decide to buy any furniture, I'd really go for something ready-made. I'm just tired, you know, following up with those fundies, following up on product or oh, where have you got, where, where have you actually, what have you done so far? I feel like it's a lot of hassle for me. So it has actually taught me a lesson eh, the fundi kept on let me not even lie i used to get really mad so when it comes to furniture shopping and the fundies i think me and them are just like this so i'd really prefer to go for something ready made so i'm thinking do i buy another seat or do i just renovate this do i just sell this because i feel it's a very bad quality honestly um the more i stay with this the more i notice some bad things about it the only thing i like about it is these pillows because i really wanted the big pillows but then the rest is just a disaster like look at this space here like it's actually an l seat but they don't meet <laughs> i don't know why they actually never meet so there's just a problem with um here because here meets but here doesn't so there's just an issue so i'm not so sure if i should get a new couch or I should just go and renovate because I feel like if I take this and actually renovate, it will cost me more. I don't know. It would cost me more and then it won't last that much. So I'm not sure. Comment down below, guys. Suggest something for me. But I always feel like I'm just mad at fundies. You know, I'm just traumatized. Anyway, so let's not talk much about it because it will make my day just a dull day. Yeah, so right now I just want to um I just want to look at the jobs I'm I'm actually supposed to be doing and then also give out one because I can't do them all by myself. It's a lot of work. Yeah, then I'll see you guys in a few. I get lost sometimes and I can't seem to find a light. 
between the walls I built for myself right in my mind. And then you came over and you showed me love that I never had seen before. And now, when I got you, it's all gonna be alright. Thinking about all the things we did tonight. So guys, the delivery guy has just called me. He's actually um, two minutes away, so I just want to quickly go out, go and pick it, and then I'll come back and show you guys what it is. So guys, I've just picked my delivery so well packaged. Yeah, so let's see what is inside. Yeah, so this is the package, guys. Look at that with the YouTube logo. So black is for YouTube black. So basically, this is uh, Africa Masterclasses. Like actually, Africa Creator Week this coming week. So they say they'll send something to help with um, a particular exercise we'll be doing for one of the classes so i'm not sure what is inside so let's check they said we'll need this for one of the classes so let's see so let's see oh this looks interesting looks like we're going to create something because i can see the beads yeah so it came with this card so hey there we're super excited to see you soon and hope you are too ahead of the evening we wanted to give you a care package for you to enjoy during the wellness evening we wanted to give you this e equipment so that you can unwind while tapping into your creative skill what are we going to be making all will be revealed soon yeah so basically this is just a card from um youtube black so this is these are beads yeah so i think we'll be making something so these are just some white beads we have pliers here uh, more beads Ooh, this look it looks so much interesting yeah so two of these two of these and two of white and this wire okay this looks this actually looks like we'll be needing more creative um kill here i've never made anything in my life so ooh, i can't wait to see what we will be making yeah so this is actually my first ever delivery from youtube and i'm super excited like i've really grown to get to this point where you can actually get a delivery really means a lot so i'm so excited yeah so basically guys i'm so excited i don't think i'll ever throw this box away you know <laughs> so um, it made me feel so good like getting to a place you can actually get a delivery direct from youtube like i've really grown i've really really grown like looking back at my journey where i started how i started the struggles i'm just so grateful to god for this far like it means a lot also they'll be sending a food voucher by the way so it's just a wellness evening so they'll be sending a food voucher on that particular day yeah, and I'll get to order from... So I've used Jumia food before, so I think I'll just use Jumia food again. They were so efficient. This is not sponsored by Jumia or anything. Yeah, but they just did a good work. So I think I'll order with them. So I'm so excited for the event. I can't wait to share more with you guys. So about the creator class, I think I'll show you guys in another vlog. So you need to subscribe and... and um. You need to subscribe and also keep track for that because um i'd really show you and involve you guys in it yeah so i'm so excited i feel so good i feel so good so i did not explain to you guys more about it so basically what will happen it's an event where we have invited guests we have like tayo aina if you guys watch tayo um he's an amazing nigerian youtuber is it yeah nigerian youtuber he has amazing content, by the way, so he'll be the first speaker on the first day. Yeah, so it's basically about creativity, about your well-being. You know, what do you do? What do you do when you feel like um, you're so overwhelmed? And that's a question I always ask most of you. Like, what do you do when you feel like you need that rest, when you're so overwhelmed with so much? 
and uh, you just need the break like what do you do do you pre-edit do you uh, pre-shoot for me basically what i usually do i usually pre-shoot my videos i don't shoot on that day and post that's something i used to do before but then i stopped because i realized it's too much pressure for me so nowadays i just uh pre-shoot and schedule so i'll even pre-shoot like four videos or even five and just schedule and distribute across so that um i get that enough rest you know and i've made it very intentional to always rest during the weekends because guys let me tell you i used to burn out real bad like i'll burn out and it gets to a point i feel like i can't do anything like i can't continue with this life you know i used to feel that way let me not even lie i'd get to a point i just don't feel like waking up in the morning i'm just tired i was always tired so i made it very intentional to always take a break whenever i feel overwhelmed with something whenever i feel tired i will always close everything and take a very long rest so i've made it intentional every weekend i do my best i do my best to complete my work um during the weekday so that weekends is for me you know so i've made it um a routine and i'm i'm really getting good at that because nowadays i don't feel tired i don't burn out as much and i'm just so excited so basically uh this we can this week this coming week the classes will just be about wellness like um what do you do basically to ensure that your mental health is okay your physical health is okay so tell me guys in the comment section what do you do when you're tired or what do you do to just you know get that energy back and motivation let's have a conversation in the comment section please share your tips um yeah so let's learn from each other so basically that what i'm going to do so basically what i'm going to do right now is do one of the projects and then i'll catch up with you guys later i get lost sometimes and i can't seem to find a light between the walls i built for myself right in my mind and then you came over and you showed me love that I never had seen before and Now, when I got you, it's all gonna be alright Thinking about all the things we did tonight What a time to be alive Just you and I I'm so tired like this is about I think three four five, three or four hours later I'm done with one of them so that's actually a relief yeah I've decided to just change the position because I'm tired of sitting there sitting in one place for like four hours is not even a joke so right now I'm actually writing down um, the things I'm grateful for today so I didn't write them in the morning because um, of the work I had so right now it's actually 2 30 p.m. so since I didn't also write my activities for today because what I had planned to do today basically was to concentrate on my work and um, there's nothing much I'm supposed to be doing um to tonight i i think once i'm done with the work i have i think tonight i'll just chill and relax maybe um sleep early because i'm mostly i mostly sleep so late so i want to take that chance since i i, I don't have much to do today i'll just sleep so early yeah so that i can have a productive day tomorrow so i'm just going to quickly write what i'm grateful for and um also look at my goals what i want to achieve in life because when i do that every single day it just keeps on motivating me and it keeps on you know keeping me on toes like you need to wake up you need to do this and this you have goals to hit you have visions you have like things you need to do and accomplish because i always pray every single day that uh, whatever i do in a day like may i achieve even one or two things you know like the fact that you write your goals for today like i'm always i'm always so excited when at the end of the day i just come and tick like i'm done with this i'm done with this but it does happen some days you're just so exhausted you wake up plan for your day and end up doing nothing it happens yeah so basically that's what i'm doing right now
Yeah, so what is what is the one thing you always make sure you do on a day before you actually um before your day comes to an end? Like what is that one thing that keeps you going? You know, for me I, I always pray first thing and the second thing I always just look at my goals every single day. Every single day. Especially those days I'm that I always feel like I'm so tired. I always ensure um that I just pray about it and also look at my goals so that Sometimes it really does motivate me. I just listen to um, one of my favorite motivation channel and also um, watch some of my favorite YouTubers so that, you know, they can help me get that energy back. So basically, that's what um, I've been doing today. So I have nothing much to do. So I think I'll just take a rest because I've been working for hours. I'm so tired. I feel like my mind is clogged. I want to cook something because I'm already I'm already hungry. So I think I'll just cook lunch or cook lunch stock dinner. You know, have an early dinner since it's already 2.30 anyway. So by the time I'll be done cooking, probably to be 4 or 3, going to 4. So I think I'll just have a, an early dinner. Yeah, and call it a day. So... If you've not subscribed to my channel, please do, don't just watch, please subscribe, give this video a like, you know, just click on that like button, guys. And also support me by um, by clicking the bell so that you always get notified. Let me see you in the next video. Bye, guys.